स्लोप ऑफ आइसोक्वांड व्हिच इज डी के बाय डी एल इज नथिंग बट एम पी एल बाय एम पी के दिस स्लोप हियर इज कॉल्ड एम आर टी एस एम आर टी एस इज मार्जिनल रेट ऑफ टेक्निकल सब्सटीट्यूशन so ideally i am saying how do i substitute capital for uh, labor for capital is this rate so i was saying that mrts is um, basically the slope of the isoquant which is given by dk by dl so again as you can see that this negative sign shows that the curve is going to be downward sloping but it doesn't really tell me whether the curve is going to be convex or whether it is concave it would be convex only when the slope is also diminishing not only negative but also diminishing so now we have to understand whether the slope is diminishing or not so first of all let's just interpret this slope for a second this says that you know i because i'm holding the level of output constant then the slope actually tells me that so you know how much additional how much of capital when given up for an extra level of cap a labor would produce the same level of output so this is telling me the rate at which i'm going to substitute capital and labor for each other so suppose i say that dk by dl is 5 then i am saying that if 5 units of capital are given and 1 unit of labor is taken instead of those 5 units is used addition 1 unit then the output produced will be the same so this is what it is saying so this is ideally 5 by 1 so i am saying that and you know this is with a negative sign so i am saying change in capital is by 5 units which my which means i am reducing capital by 5 units this sense change in labor is by 1 unit which means i am increasing labor by 1 unit and then this is saying that this is giving you the same output as it was giving here similarly if i am saying that you know my dk by dl is minus 1 by 5 then i am saying the other way round i am saying when my capital decreases something like this when my capital decreases by just one unit and i increase labor by 5 units then the output that i would be producing would be the same so this is the interpretation of the slope by how much should the capital be decreased and by how much would the cap labor be increased such that the output produced is the same